Welcome to this Tobacco University video. We're going to tackle looking at the 2018 Farm Bill and the confusion regarding THC and how it is defined within the 2018 Farm Bill. So first off, what does the Farm Bill actually state? Well, the Farm Bill has a definition here, the term hemp. That means the plant, can be C to L, and any part of that plant, including the seeds thereof, and all derivatives, extracts, cannabinoids, isomers, acids, salts, and salts of isomers, whether growing or not, with a delta-9 tetracannabidiol, THC, concentration of not more than 0.3% on a dry weight basis. This is how the 2018 Farm Bill defines hemp. So this makes it seem like only Delta 9 THC is of concern until you get to another section, uh, particularly section 297B, 2A, II, is red, which causes the confusion. This is this main source of confusion here. So what does that kind of refer to? What is that looking at? Well, it specifically states that a uh, procedure for testing using post-decarboxylation or other similar reliable methods, delta-9 tetracannabinol, THC again, concentration levels of hemp produced in the state or territory of the Indian tribe. So what are the typical accepted testing methods? Well, there's two. There's the post-decarboxylation, and then there's high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC. So how does decarboxylation turn marijuana into marijuana? And this is looking at that THCA, heating it, and then creating that kind of delta-9 THC here. So that heat is removing that carboxyl group, that essentially that A form of the THC to get the delta-9 THC. So this is important to kind of make this distinction of this kind of variant that does occur. So we can take a look at this uh, definition here of post-decarboxylation. This is a process which the acid uh, uh, cannabinoids, sorry, which such as THCA are heated to an active form. This then converts them to a neutral cannabi cannabinoids like THC. So this is that conversion of that THCA to that delta-9 THC. To de decarboxylate hemp, it needs to be heated to around 220 degrees Fahrenheit for around 30 to 45 minutes of exposure, although that time does vary, as you can kind of see here um, a little bit. So this is that decarboxylation step. This is that uh, cannabinoids converting that THCA to that delta-9 THC. So we're looking at that high-performance liquid chromatography, HPLC, formerly referred to uh, as high-pressure uh, liquid chromatography. Again, looking at a technique in analytical chemistry used to separate, identify, and quantify each component in a mixture. It's very good at being very precise about that. It relies on pumps to pass pressurized liquid and solvent containing sample mixture through a column filled with a solid absorbent material. Each component in the sample interacts slightly differently with the absorbent material, causing different flow rates of the different components and leading to the separation of those compounds as they flow through the column. What that ends up creating is like little peaks. And you can think of these peaks being like kind of a fingerprint signature of what that compound contains broken down into very specific kind of areas there. I mean, where there's a peak, you can trace that down and have an idea what uh, that compound actually is and what's present there. If you run two different liquids, they'll give you two different peaks, two different signatures there. So why does the testing method affect how the law is interpreted? Well, both testing methods allow for the amount of delta-9 THC to be detected. However, HPLC, unlike the decarboxylation step, does not need to convert the THCA to the delta-9 THC and instead of isolates of the delta-9 uh, THC. So you're getting this slightly different result here, which is what's leading to part of the confusion. So when we interpret the actual farm bill, as the law recommends post-decarboxylation, but also states that hemp is defined as under 0.3% delta-9 THC. So there's that kind of controversy there, because this is, has led to the individual states to determine what the law means and is somewhat contradictory. So it's being defined as under that delta-9 THC, but is that the total THC? And is there some interpretation going on in the state basis, uh, depending on what step or what kind of process they're using as far as what THC are they exactly calculating? 
So there will con sadly continue to be confusion. Uh, so the USDA has not developed a standard test for determining the Delta-9 THC. And as we saw here, the decarboxylation in the HPLC do yield slightly different results there. So until the test that has been developed, there will continue to be confusion between states and the federal law, unless further clarification from the federal government is given. So I know this can be a little bit confusing, but hopefully this provide with some detail or some of the science behind the reason for the confusion and the potential different interpretation of the 2018 Farm Bill defining hemp.